you like know what to do. <laughs> I'm here with Jade. Jade. My little chair. Jade. There we go. That feels more like You're a looking grown up chair. <laughs> right, I'm a habitat today. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> habitats. <laughs> You could like, you could like, you could be like, like people would not know who, you, like you could, what is that called? Camouflaged. Chameleon, yes. You could be like, I can't yeah. Matter of fact. Can you see me? <laughs> Where'd Jay go? Where's Jay? Where's he go? Oh no. Perfect. I love it. Thank oh, you for having me. Oh my me. gosh, I'm so excited. Oh Are you man. Kidding? <laughs> Among things. <laughs> Among things, man. What yeah, a tremendous, yeah. We have so much going on. Yeah, I we can't, do. Okay, I'm going to catch up with you. Okay, we will. So are you ready? I am. Do we need to do any more sound checking? How do I there, sound? We're am I close here. enough? I think we're good here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Ooh. There we are. Is that your power pack there? Well, yeah, because this thing, I mean, when you do the live thing, it just like your battery goes, <laughs> yep. right? And Absolutely. so, and I used to have a case on it, but the case was like, and I, not, I used to have the case that had the power on it, uh -huh. and that was like, this arm was getting really buff because I'm like, so heavy. Oh. Exactly. This, I'm like, this thing is so heavy. It is. And so then I thought, I'm just going to go with the power pack, uh -huh. which has a lot more juice to it, too. There you so go. I can, like, now you're blocking your face. We want to see your pretty face. Oh, what a sweet face. Okay, are we good? Yes. Okay, I'm ready, Sam, when, when you are. This thing tends to be a little bit. It requires a little TLC. Something oh, like that. He's, he's the man, right? Don't let the mall name fool you. He's very <laughs> gentle. <laughs> ah, nice. That was, a, that was a new take. Usually, that was good. I get a lot of barbecue sauce. I was going to say, you probably get <laughs> mole, mole, Did you guys set dates and stuff? How's things going for you? Oh, we're here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're You're rocking and rolling. They're, they're, they're rocking. They're, gonna... they're rocking. Them and the sweetie pie. Oh, are there, is there things with the sweetie pie I don't know? Oh, me and Jeannie. Yeah. Here. I was like, yeah. Nah, uh, they're going to be fine. Okay. <laughs> She's a cutie pie. Uh -huh. They're cute, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're cute, Precious. right? I was in a commercial with them. Really? Oh, yeah. Have <laughs> yeah. you seen us? I haven't. Okay, so then, my, okay, what time is it? I know, right? I know, we tell you have to get going. after me? But, but no. Okay, but my, but, still. but he might. I've got so it. Yeah, true, my, true, true, um, true. My parents were at uh, a family function this mm -hmm. Sunday. I couldn't make it, but they were there. And my mom's like, so then your uncle is like, well, don't leave until I show everybody this. I've got something to show everybody. Don't leave until I show everybody. And she's like, okay, you know. And here it was. It was our Channel 11 commercial. He had recorded it, and he wanted everybody to see it. Aww. Is that so fun? Very cute. I'm like, aw. What that's commercial so did you do for Shock City or? No, it was for Channel 11. Okay. It was. I. I, I had. <laughs> I, uh, it shows me at the Grove, and I'm, I'm like, taking a selfie, yeah. and then I turn my phone around like this, Aww. and then it shows Channel 11. It was for a, an app that they have. Been, yeah, I had to That's study very forever cute. for that part. It was, <sighs> yeah, I was really in my element. I had that whole thing. That's right. Oh, what do I, <laughs> turning the phone. Exactly. Turning the Properly, phone. Properly, right. <laughs> Leading up to it, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, it was like when I was in Angela LaRocco. Uh -huh. I was a, an extra in her movie, and I was just, oh gosh, we were cracking right. ourselves up the whole time. I'm like, I have st I've, I'm studying my coffee that's cafe right. face. Do I look like I'm at the coffee cafe? This is me studying. My... That's right, that's right. You know? You, well, you don't know. And then there was this part where they're like, okay, this guy, he's going to get up there, and he's going to do this big speech. And, mm -hmm. You know, and I'm thinking it's supposed to be kind of funny and and uh, uh, jovial and everything. And and it was so funny because she didn't set us up, but oh, you know, no. and we're all like, and then as he's and then as he's like, it's like kind of deeper, and we're like, <laughs> yeah, just right now. And then she's like, <laughs> okay, I did not prepare anybody for that. And we're like, yeah, because we were That's hilarious. It was like, and then right, we're like, oh, right, we're not supposed right, to have this right, right. No smiling <laughs> right there. This is not appropriate. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, being an extra. <laughs> It's hard work. It's so hard difficult. Work. Oh my gosh. I love All it. right, I, I will stop being chatty and this on this from this chat. We'll be chatty with the next okay. part. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Are you on now? Oh my gosh. It's live now. Oh hey, yeah, we're She's just like, like live off top. Why not? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hello. Jade is here. <laughs> I've, I've only been trying to get you on this podcast for, I don't know, like it, you. It, yes, know. but when You're it's time, busy. when it's in time. Since this is the perfect day, which it is, is awesome. It, it, it really is. Yeah. And it, I have made, 
I guess I feel like my wish has been fulfilled. Ooh, 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 ooh. My wish to be with Mish <laughs> has been wish fulfilled. Wish. My, my wish, 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 my wish, wish has come true. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right, are we ready? I am ready. Hi, this is Mish Hancock, and you are listening to Mishmash, a place where I get to talk to the weird, wacky, wonderful people of this world, people I adore and want to know more about. Today, my guest is Jade Harrell. Jade is the charismatic creator and executive producer of Rare Gem Productions, a positive media production, promotion, and creative consultation company. Named Positivity's Greatest Promoter by Who's Who Publishing, Jade's voice reverberates globally through multiple platforms of strictly positive programming. Thank mm -hmm. you, dear, for being here today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to see you. Well, and, the, and of course, what I love that. Pro pleasure. Right? Positive, positive, Absolutely. positive, right? Absolutely. We love the positive. Yes. We do. And so where did you, like, at what point mm -hmm. did you say, I am so going to be positive about everything and I'm putting it out there big time? Absolutely. Well, it began as an affirmation for me and it was something to encourage my self-concept. And uh, I, I was afflicted with this whole comparison disease. Oh, you know? yeah, bad and disease. It, it is because it really diminishes who you are and what your potential is. And along the way, I heard a, a speaker, motivational speaker, someone say, you have to affirm yourself and just continue to say the things until they settle in your spirit and you know them, they become second nature. So I started with affirmations. And as I began more in my creative work, I discovered that what I do in media and with the information that I put out, it's similar to that. So that the people who listen will continue to get positive messages that reinforce who they are, that encourage them. And then for the time that they spend listening, watching, or engaging um, any of our, of our media, that it's time that it gives back to them and doesn't just take away. I love it. And so you have a podcast that is crazy popular. <laughs> and then, then there's other podcasts that that are represented on yeah. your, on Rare Gem, right? Yes. So talk about Pretty that. Pretty neat, right? Well, that's kind of part of the name. Rare Gem is a, a pun intended play on my name, Jade, a rare gem. But that positive media anymore is kind of a rare gem. We're grateful for you <laughs> to be a part of this ecosystem. Right. Yes, exactly. Yes, we need positive, positive because uh, it's all for sure. pretty. Well, it's negative. It can the be. other thing that makes me crazy What's is that? that everything is breaking news. Mm -hmm. It's right. like you, breaking news. Right. This happened. I'm like, that's kind of not breaking news, right. really. <laughs> but why are we acting like it's breaking that's right. news? It's breaking the other news that <laughs> broke the news before it is what happened. <laughs> So uh, I am so fortunate and grateful to be the producer and co-host of the Model Health Show, which is, like you said, wildly popular. Positivity is popular. But a, a microphone, a message, and a fantastic host, Sean Stevenson, shares practical ways for people to become their best, best selves through health and healthy living and nutrition and wellness. And we are now uh, really close to topping 14 million downloads. Dang, girl. Right? Woo! High five. Man. That's awesome. It's hard I to believe love it. that like in over 190 countries, there are people that hear my voice and the heart that I have to give and love and encourage people. I love it. That it's, it's reaching and, and touching lives. It's so amazing. That has to feel so good. Well, it does. Sometimes it's surreal, but then you get messages and and notes and things that that reassure you that these are real people yeah. you know greetings from australia and you're saying wow oh, I love my it. voice is reaching places and uh, a message of encouragement is reaching places that i'll never maybe never even travel it's it's incredible oh i love it that's mm -hmm. so awesome and then the other the other um podcasts that, that are part of rare gem are all around positivity absolutely in some form message. or fashion right. so even though some of the topics may be things that are are challenging like alive and well stl we're talk, talking about toxic stress and trauma in our community here right. in this region now that's a heavy topic but we're here to share the message of hope that there's resources that there's ambassadors that you're not alone right the entire series of commercials and interviews that i now conduct the interviews as well and um, contribute on the creative that they build is something to say that this is not 
necess- this doesn't have to be your normal. Right. And there's a great place that you can arrive to if you if you listen, if you lean in, if you ask for help, or sometimes if you just give it to somebody else, it shines a light in some of the dark places that you may be dealing with. And that's become a community-wide movement across m- multiple platforms, which is amazing because it started out as a little podcast, little right. radio show. And now it's with the um, KSDK, uh, the St. Louis American, Radio One, multi-platforms. There's ambassadors and training. In fact, an entire entity, separate entity, is being formed around what really? started out as that seed. Yeah, Yay. and it's also healing. It's Absolutely. all about healing, For sure. right? And we need that. Um, we take a beating <laughs> yeah. on a daily basis. For the minute we get here, arrive on the planet in whatever way we arrive, uh, there's a lot to, to traverse. There's a lot. Well, Just and it's, exist. I think it's one of the reasons why babies come out crying. Yeah. Well, because, <laughs> you know, it's like, because you like, on the other side, when you're like, Oh, uh-huh. soul growth. Yeah, I'll go and I'll That's go through right. that. No, right. yeah, put those challenges in oh, front of man. me. I can't wait to get to Earth. And then we get here, we're like, oh, no. wait, no, 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 wait, 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 and it's not, it's not all like, la, 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 <laughs> skipping through right, the meadows. Right. You know, there are things that are going to happen, mm-hmm. whether you like it or not, because you're not in control of all of it. Right. So it's like, when it happens, then mm-hmm. how do I, how can I best learn from sure. this and grow from it? And not that it necessarily, like, you're, you're going to, it's, it's going to happen bad things are going to happen again. Like, you know, one bad thing happens and then right. you get a little right. bit of a break, or right, but then something else is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. But then how do you continue to grow and learn mm-hmm. and get better tools mm-hmm. so that the next time it happens, you're better prepared. You don't fall into a complete funk of depression and sure. like you can't get yourself out. Sure. Right. Sure. And I totally can relate to that uh, because I got discouraged. You know, I, I did have a, a Pollyanna view about life and that uh, things were all going to be right. I didn't know how to take the the bad with the good right and what i encourage and, and we can all fall into that you know sure. good feels good fine. and when stuff fine. doesn't feel so fine. good it's yeah. like whoa yeah. i don't know if i like this <laughs> but over time you discover that that's what makes the good so good and so what i try to do with my work and um with other people directly is give them a tangible way to get back to that good and not necessarily rewind the the tape but remember and reflect on the things that fulfill you and feed you. Right. Mm-hmm. And learn the lesson. Oh, yeah. Right? Because oh, if yeah. you don't learn the lesson, then what happens? Then all of a sudden you're ba- you're having the same problem again. Sure. You're like, well, how, what, oh how did gosh. I get back here? It's like, well, cause, yeah. And so I, I often say, right the universe yeah. loves you so much. <laughs> right. That you... when you didn't take care of it the first time, yeah. it'll just make it come back in a bigger, oh, yeah. like more noticeable mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. And... There you go. Right, right. So, I remember and, asking, like, make it like a billboard. I don't want to keep missing this. Yeah, I say make that it all the very time. Very obvious like, that can you I just, don't like, miss it. Tell me what the world I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, because yeah. it's all about listening. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, and really, I do believe that sometimes there's there's nothing to hear. It's kind of like, look, things are in this place right now. Like, who knows where this is going to go? Mm-hmm. So you just have to be really aware and really in a loving mm-hmm. space, mm-hmm. and then then the, the, it'll come through like clarity will start to Absolutely. you'll see the clay it'll start to become clearer but it's just it's mm-hmm. not it's a little fuzzy mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. you know i like using the analogy with radio tuning into your precise frequency Ooh. because outside of that you know it can be staticky and cacophonous right but when you're tuned in and you're dialed into your frequency it's crystal clear the message that you're supposed to receive so I speak on getting to your frequency, just like a dial on a radio or right. set, and then set it, Yeah, you know, <laughs> put it in your favorites and, and save it so that you can refer to that when things get off course. I love mm-hmm. it. When the signal becomes unclear. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. I feel the same about you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to take a quick break, ma'am, sure. and we will be right back with Jade. Awesome. <laughs> I do love it though, yeah. but it's so true. I mean, and it, it's, 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 you know, when, it, when people get to that place and they're like, why is this happening to I'm like, well, first of all, it, nobody gets out of here without the challenges. Yeah. It's all part of you being here and learning and growing. Yeah. Well, however you look, I look at it as your soul growth, mm-hmm. you know, but how, whatever frame you put that in, Absolutely. you know, 
you got to go through it. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. And the, so I'm kind of in that situation. Do a we want to talk right about it? Ah, no. Should we? So, we don't have to. It's so tender. It's we so don't have tender. to. I wasn't it's sure if good. I should no, go there. No, it's not. it's okay. Um, but don't talk about it right now. Right. Keep do, it pure. Let's keep it pure. Okay. Keep it pure. <laughs> when 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 Sam gives us the thumbs up, we'll okay. go there. And we are back with Jade. All right, Jade. So yeah. I, I did actually ask your permission if we could go there because you said, I'm there right now. Right. Pick it up What's on going that. on? So uh, w we mentioned that there'll be a lesson that keeps coming up. Yep. And it occurred to me that I felt pretty sure about a space I was in, mm -hmm. about having it all in balance and um, things are looking good and it's all, it's working out, even though it might be a little rough around the edges. Well, those rough edges became more clear that there's a thing, there's a thing oh. that's happening that you're repeating, Jade. And that oh. is you make it tougher for yourself sometimes than you have to. And it's simply because you won't ask for help. Oh gosh, that's a good lesson. And I won't ask for the help. And then when it gets piled up and there's so much to do and it took the guy that I rarely listen to that I should listen to the most my husband uh -huh. to say here's an analogy you sign up to run this 5k that you haven't trained for now you need to train you know you've got three months and so meanwhile you're still taking on this work you're still coming up with things for the children you're living and you just, oh, you have lots of reasons why the training didn't happen. Right. Then you get to the race. You're running the race midway through. You're running out of breath. And you're thinking, well, if I just run harder, if yeah. I push I'll, more. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll right. figure it out. And he says, meanwhile, you still got 2K to go. And where are you going to go? Are you going to take that 2K with vigor and strength where you could just ask someone to lend you a hand? Right. Take on some of the tasks, or are you going to plow through this and, and make it hard? And I said, well, I'm so used to making it hard. <laughs> what am well, I going to do but there? it is true. It is so true. Because sometimes, and I mean, I, and I totally get this, and then I've totally been there before. And it, it's funny to me, and this happened to me recently, <laughs> okay. this little thing. And it was, so, you know, I'm working on this thing with um, HECTV, which helps with, our, what we do with TEDx, right? Yeah. And yes. we decided, you know, we needed, we wanted to do a, a little something different. And one of the things we decided was, well, we'll do, wouldn't it be cool if we did a dinner with the speakers? Ooh, you know, so we bring in like three or four speakers all around a, a particular subject and yeah. we, we talk with them. And, and so, and I was making it in my head really hard to find a restaurant. Mm. Like, like, oh, I want these people to do it. I want this to happen. And, it, and I was just putting too much around it, you mm -hmm. know, and then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> now I got to call these restaurants yep. and explain to yep. them, here's what Ted is, here's what we're doing, it's take forever. And then one day I was like, I just, why, why don't I just go to my Facebook friends? They're always that? so helpful. Mm -hmm. Boom. I put it out there on Facebook. Easy. I, I, right. I was, I was inundated right. with, with people that were right. like, oh, I know so-and-so at this restaurant. And then restaurants going, Raising their We'd hand, you know, Mish, to. we would yes. love to talk yes. to you about this. Yes. And I was like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that you forget how you, right. you ask for help. And people like to help, right? right. right? So when you are that? from yeah. an, a good intentional space, you absolutely. can you just help me out absolutely. Here? So are you finding help? Well, can for I sure. Help you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have by giving me an opportunity to look at and, and, and talk about it. Because one of those things here it was, Ooh, do I say it out loud that Ooh, I need the help? Yeah, because do I? Because I, I'm, I can do everything. I can do it. I can. Oh, I, I need a guide for the giver who is so okay with it being hard mm -hmm. that they'll just keep giving some more. And it's not a problem to give. And in, in, in some cases, allowing people in is a giving thing in and of itself. Right. Right. I allow somebody, I empower someone, or I just open up and share that space with someone. And what you discover is that, wow, I'm wrestling with this object, this obstacle that doesn't even have to be a part of the landscape. Right. What am I, and so much energy could be freed 
by moving on be, be past that. When yeah. you discover that, oh, well, there's people who want to. There's people right. whose skill right. set is right. there. I mean, because you know, that's what I've done with my business. Like at one point I had to get really real about this is the part of social media I know right. that I am awesome at, that I actually want to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. But there's parts of it, I don't want to do that. I'm not very good at it. Like yeah. I tried and I'm thinking, oh, my God, it's terrible at this. <laughs> yeah. Why am I even trying I to do this? this? And so then yeah. I would just be real with people and say, I need someone. Mm -hmm. that, and then I found myself partnering with other That's businesses that it. that was their skill set. And they would look at me and go, I'm never doing what you do. That looks, <laughs> oh, you know. And I'm They're like, see, and then I way. love that part. Yeah. So then it, yeah. it just makes complete sense. But being, you know, really upfront with people Absolutely. and saying, here's me, here's what I do. This is my skill set. That Absolutely. is not my skill set. Don't ask me to do that because sure. you will be sad. Right. <laughs> if you let me do that. Yeah, we'll just frustrate yeah. the heck out of each that other. That is so true. You that know? is so true. So I, I, I was in some training recently that talked about that resolve we have. At some point, we became resolved that we can't or can do a certain thing. I'll never, and I spoke about this in my little audition, uh, was that you decide in one moment, there's a moment that happened. And I think for me, Going back into my childhood, I thought it was a burden. I felt that I was burdening people oh, by, asking by asking for help. Them. You know, right. I was I was the youngest in a family of aunts and uncles that were like, "Get out of here, kid!" You know. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> right, they love me. Time for this. Right. We love you, bud. Exactly. Go play. But for whatever right. reason, Go figure it out I on your locked own. on to that, right? Ah, gotcha. And carried along the way. And so when we can identify, well, what was that thing? What happened? in that point in time because that's usually when from that moment on you're going to go about it a different way and then right. it will just reinforce itself and reinforce itself and what you've come to discover is well hey here's where I am yeah and I'm sharing that and maybe it's not the same as what mine is but you're open and, and have identified that's what it is and when you release that wow so many things can come oh about. yeah absolutely oh, yeah exactly and yeah. then all of a sudden it was like all of a sudden i found a bunch of people to partner with they're yeah. like i'm like gosh you guys we're all like waiting there yeah. or something well so talk about your tedx audition oh let's talk about it so I was it was in, so sweet it was so sincere <laughs> i liked it i was like oh man well <laughs> One of the things with my affirmations was I searched around for a long time for, well, what should I say? That doesn't feel right. If I stood in the mirror and said, I'm beautiful, I'm capable, I'm strong, I'm, yeah, okay, I get all that. But there's still something more. And at some point, it need I needed different language. And um, in my course of meeting people and talking, at some point, someone, I asked how they were doing. Mm-hmm. And we have these patent responses. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. I'm blessed. I'm doing good. And it maybe even was a, a preacher. He says, uh, I'm doing blessed. And it just, right then and there, it just, sh it, again, it was another I'm moment that blessed. just, I'm doing blessed. And he says, I'm sorry. I meant to say I'm blessed or I'm doing fine. He said, they all got jumbled together. And I said, I like that. I though. like doing blessed. I like doing blessed. And what it, what occurred to me is that we don't get new water. We don't get new air. But we they're repurposed and reutilized and rejuvenated in, in us. Different and ways. you can. Yeah. And so I'm standing for the inhibition. <laughs> being inhibited. And that is being liberated from your inhibi inhibitions and those obstacles that get us entangled. And I put that forward as something that can can catch energy and help other people and i noticed that if i meet someone and i say i'm fan terrific or fantastinacious <laughs> you know it does it shakes the mundane it opens up communication right. and it also allows us to think a little bit different i mean uber uber didn't even exist in that way or right. google didn't 10 years ago right now it's a verb exactly you know, google it google exactly me, right it's amazing when those companies become because you think kleenex I mean, every it, people say that now, right? Yeah. Like, do you have a Kleenex? Do you have a Kleenex? Well, well, you don't I, you know, it's a tissue, yeah. right? But we all say Kleenex exactly. because that's the brand that's like you exactly. think of first, right? And I'd like it to be second nature that if someone asks you, "Are you doing okay?" Yeah, I'm inhibited. I'm inhibited. I'm inhibited. <laughs> And I love language. I uh -huh. love playing with words. And Everything so I'm so have. drawn to yeah. that sort of thing because I think words, there's so much power with words. There there's is. There's so the much power. Power and energy and all that we have is contained in language. Everything. Like even right now, right now our exchange and how we're able to share what's happening here is made up in language. And so we have that power to 
create it however yeah. we want and or not need. Be, and be inhibited. Exactly. <laughs> and what, like with the podcast, the the words and message go places that I haven't. This really speaking this way and, and approaching things this way opened doors before I was confident in opening them. So it worked. I love it. <laughs> We're going to take another break, Sweet. my dear. And we will be back in just a moment with Jade. I have to put you guys on hold. I have to turn you around oh, for sure. just a second. Did I blow that? No, no. That I'm in. Oh, yeah. I have to make sure. Oh, I saw so you. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm okay. on the train. Wait, I have like I, a we're super back. dance to go with it. Uh, what? <laughs> well, I don't, but I'm just okay. dancing. Good, good, good. Oh, my god! I gosh. just want to yes. make sure we were like. Yes, I'm a go. I'm a oh, go. Right. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Excuse us, everyone. Okay, now we're back, and we'll we'll tell you what we're talking about. But first, we got to do. Now it's my question time. Okay, it's question time. Oh, this is the part I was most looking forward to. <laughs> oh yes, it's so fun. All right, we're ready. I get to be asked what are your questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really psyched about that. All Woo. right, I am ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are back with Jade. It's question time, it's Jade. Question time. All right, so and you, you know, all right, so so this one keeps coming up to me, and I I know there's stuff around this, so we have to okay. talk about it. But what does the color green? Oh Jade, my god! What does that mean to you? Everything. What does it, it mean? Is my there's got to be so much around it. Absolutely. Well, the gemstone is green. Green is symbolizes life. I love grass and color. It's colorful. <laughs> uh, Do you know it's also um, the color of the heart chakra? Have you ever heard anybody talk about chakras? Oh, I have, but I yeah. did not get to the level of color. And if that is true, if that is true as it is true, Does that, that really sense resonates. Yes, yeah, it makes complete sense. Totally. So I, no, none of this is accident. Oh, of course Absolutely not. not. It's my very favorite color. I I could swim in green. I wear green <laughs> lipstick sometimes. I know. I've been <laughs> around you with green lipstick. I right, loved that. There that. was an MDMC. I'm like, oh, she has green I lipstick. Green How perfect. Lipstick. Who knew? Who I love it. Uh, I love it so much. That came at just the right time. Absolutely. So have you ever looked up what jade means as a stone? <laughs> Yeah, it's it good is for the amazing. kidneys and stuff. Okay, but listen. Yeah, the, so, no, I thought. took it because it's emotional healing. Yeah, see. Oh, Hello. I'm going to cry. The healing properties of jade are very useful for emotional healing. The <gasps> soothing energy from jade wow. relieves irritability while helping to eliminate negativity, which supports jade meaning. I did not realize how perfectly aligned that oh, was. I didn't enter this with that knowledge. That is, I mean, that like, Ooh. that's amazing, right? Yes, it is. So it says so much about who you are and what you're doing Absolutely. and you're so in alignment yeah with what you're doing and it feels right yahoo wow all right you're not from st louis no i'm so, from denver so colorado tell me like here you are from denver uh -huh. colorado you moved to st louis i've yep. heard the stories but uh -huh. what is like what is the weirdest or craziest or oddest thing you found about this place we call home <laughs> <laughs> so one i want to share the most huh Okay, so well, just, just one. Well, just your favorite? No, you can do three or four. Okay, I don't cool. Care. <laughs> so one of the things is the misconception. The misconception. It is beautiful, wonderful, and and fertile here. Yeah. And I think that whoever is our PR person <laughs> is we, not getting it well, out we there. Are we PR are our own PR person. We I'm need talking to. About before, we need to, yeah. to get up our pride. Absolutely. For us. And yeah. um, so. Exactly, and I'm happy to stand for that. Well, one of the that toasted ravioli thing is a little odd to me, <laughs> but I, I, I'm completely emos. And emos is probably what sealed the deal for me coming back. Do you like emos? I you love like emos pizza? Oh, cool! Because some people are like, "What is oh, with no. the cheese?" Oh no! Oh no! It was right. I we rode. Okay, so my husband and I met in Atlanta, and this is his hometown. Okay. Now I've claimed. I've, basically taken he says how did you do this and you're not from here because I love it I love it love love it but I we rode in our small car then because we didn't have all the children 
with an extra large Emo's Pizza on the dashboard. And I enjoyed that for the entire trip, the eight hours it takes to get. I made it last. I loved it. <laughs> I went about different methods of the getting at the square, turn the square to circles. Yeah, because it's cut in squares. Yes, not cut that in was like, something. Yep, right. Because, yes, Emo's is why I'm oh, in St. Louis. It's all about Absolutely. the Emo's. Yes. I love it. Oh, my gosh. That's so hilarious. It's so true. I love it. It's so true. Okay, now you spoke of children. Yes. Oh All right, boy. and so look, thinking of Jade, and that's you know that's an important name, but your kids' names they have to have importance. They so do. I'm going to try to say them, but okay. tell me if I say them wrong. Devante, yes, Zaire, Zaire, Zion, Zion, Zephon, Zephon, Zachary, and Zachary. You have five children. I do. All boys. Uh, one girl. Which one's the girl? Zaire. Zaire is the girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, river. tell me about these names. Right. This is, this fascinating to right. me these names so, i love it oh if you haven't guessed i got a little hippie in me i i am so <laughs> okay, i'm a total hippie so so i love it yeah yeah so it's all so deep <laughs> for us um now with my husband and i we wanted to end a cycle that we had seen in our families we wanted to start new with us and so our children's names beginning with z i didn't get to name Devante. so we joke okay. sometimes and say he's Devante. <laughs> Zavante. <laughs> Zavante. uh but i i go with mookie because it's fun to say and when i see him i want to just mookie oh that's mookie so cute and give him kisses uh and he's our oldest he's 22 now so he's so over all the the mook and stuff <laughs> um but we want it so z is the end of the alphabet the end of the line it stops here with us it's going to be an entirely new way of being we're going to hold on to um traditions and um connection and the importance of family and we I wanted to stand it. for that so we didn't know the gender that uh, our firstborn would be and Zaire immediately was a nod to our, our ancestry of, from Africa. Very no, we don't cool. know any specific region, but we know that that's near the heart of Africa. There's a big, powerful river and uh, the, the richest land, natural resources and animal and plant life and so many great things that come from there. And that, that uh, if, if she were a girl, that she would be that hope. You I know, know for um, a past that may have been lost, you know, and then Zion, uh, our 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 Christian faith and the the idea of being set apart and just having something dear and true and and valued by our Creator is, and so it worked out that she she indeed is the epitome and exemplifies what Zaire would be a mighty river of a little girl that just is, amazes us. I love to this it. day, and our son Zion is certainly unique. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who added the in the caveman part, but we'll take it. Uh, but he's he's a tremendous young man. And Zephan, strangely enough, I was oh, middle of the night, woke up, usual pregnancy trip to the ladies' room, and it just hit me. You know, there were some Bible verses that talked about being assured that it all be okay and that um you know you will you will run and not get weary and you will walk and not be faint and that you know it's all going to be okay and it wasn't and that would have been Zephaniah okay you know it's right. not, but it was just Zephan just it's simple enough as Zephan it was I was so certain that okay that's it that's that that's that you know, and then by the time Zachary came around, like, woo, we're running out of Z names. We've run out of Z names, and you're Zachary. <laughs> and my, son, my husband says, why don't we just name him Ballas? We're over there so much, you know, talking about the the two hospitals that we spent so much time in. I said, well, yeah, but we need a Z. Um, but Zachary was good and, and, and simple and fun, and it really, he's he's that, too. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and I love it because it, it, the sense I get about when you say, you know, like like anything that is not what you want in your bloodline is going to end here. Absolutely. And and I, I don't think people understand that that's a, a very, it's a true thing. I mean, yeah. it's one thing that there are 
things in your own life that need to be healed. But sometimes, you know, and so those we see, like we can, if we, if we're, you're paying enough attention, yes. you start to see like, oh, this is coming around again. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is coming mm-hmm. around again. But sometimes those cycles you can't see because they span yeah. throughout a bloodline. Absolutely. You, and you Absolutely. got genes from somebody that are showing up in your life. And you're they like, are. well, how the heck is this going yeah. on? You yeah. know, but you are still, I feel a big purpose of being a human on this earth is that you are being called to heal it. Yeah. You know, just in this conversation, it really struck home with me about that healing part. Yeah. And of all things, I can embrace that for myself. Right. I want to impart it, but allowing that to be okay for me, too. Right. Sometimes you feel like you're, you know, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. (laughs) You know, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Right. That feels good. It's soothed. Right. It's okay. It's okay to like sit back and look at things yeah. and contemplate and decide and move forward yeah. and say and no more of that. Right. That's got to stop with me right. because you see it in families. You see patterns that happen mm-hmm. in families and mm-hmm. someone's got to stop it. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Someone has to make that decision like this, this can't be anymore yeah. for us yeah. folks. And so. don't get me wrong. It's not, it, I was, it wasn't that I was coming from so much misfortune, either one of us. But there is enough in our in our line in our heritage um, that we we want we wanted to see that right different and so you you said something about healing in your spirit that we took a stand for that I love it yeah you're so fabulous well I, I feel like fabulous with time you already we can talk for we about do eight hundred hours well yeah right <laughs> if I hang out right with you. and if anybody if they're not like. So if you're watching this live or if yeah. you're hearing this on a podcast that so you have to go because on my you I haven't really talked about the YouTube channel that much, but I have a YouTube channel where I put all the live videos. Sweet. So you can see Jade yes. and Mish with their lovely headwear. We wrap together. We're because, rapping. Well, we have to say because the first time we met, I got to tell this. Okay. So the first me. time we met, we were on a podcast panel together yep. that Perry Drake was doing. Oh, boy. And um, Love Perry. so I did not know you. You did not know me, but we both knew right away in that room all of a sudden it's like you saw me i saw you we're looking Absolutely. at each other and we're like we are very drawn to each yes. other we like each other very uh-huh. much, and we haven't even met yet, right. and we just knew it. It was. We just absolutely knew that there is. was a connection there. For sure, so, for sure. Love to you, my dear. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being it's a my guest. my tremendous pleasure. Ah, thank you. <laughs> and for the rest of you out there, we love you too, and please go to iTunes uh, and subscribe to Mishmash, and we will yes. catch you all next time. Thank you, darling. Woo-hoo! That was awesome. Yeah, it was. That was so cool. Thanks for sharing that, too. That's 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 cool to be authentic and be like, right. I seem like I got it all, but I don't have it all. I mean, who does, right? That's the that's so the the resounding conversation lately is that authenticity. Yeah, I'm so authentic in my close quarters. Right, like right. We should get it. And the conviction now is open it all up. Yeah. Open it all up. Well, because then people, I mean, my thing has always been people relate to people that are for real. Get that. So, like, putting on a certain face. I mean, this was the big decision. This was the big decision on me not wearing a wig anymore. See, good that on I wasn't you. authentic, right? I mean, it was, yes. and, and really, it was like, the, it, I I literally felt like I heard a voice that said, you're done with the wig. And yeah. I was like, what do you know? What the, what's a wig hurting anybody, you right. know? And And that was the thing. It was like. I wasn't embracing who I am Absolutely. and the expression that the universe has decided Absolutely. I should be right now. Yeah. So just go with it. And then it ended up being like very it's freeing so and exactly yes. who I was supposed to be. I'm and like, it freed oh, others. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So as opposed to apologizing, we go to authenticity. Yeah. Authenticity. Authenticity yeah. is, is, I love it. It's my fa- It's one of my favorite things. Authenpologies. <laughs> <laughs> I have an often apology to make. That's right. I'm sorry I've not been authentic before. An often and now apology. I'm doing an often apology. Right. I love it. Yeah, me too. Oh my God, that's so fun. Yeah. Yay for us. All right, bye, everybody. See you. Kiss Be authentic Be, without yes. apology. Absolutely. Express your often apology. Authenticity. We love you guys. Is exactly who you are. <laughs> hi, Julie. Hi, Matt. I'm saying hi, Sula. I love you. Hi, guys. Hi. I love you. <laughs> love you all.